Hey peeps, it's been a minute, right? Um, I am back with a sketchbook tour, and this one will be for May. I originally filmed this when I was on my trip, but I, I lost the footage, so I have to do it again. But uh, this is a Stillman and Burns sketchbook beta series, and I really, really enjoyed working in it, and I got another one because I liked it so much. Um, the paper was a little rough for me at first, but I got used to it. And I really like the way watercolors go on it, and it's really a thick paper, so it can hold a lot. So, without further ado, I didn't want to make the intro too long. Let's get started. So, this was actually um, from my birthday haul. It was a gift. So, um, Kayla and Avotni got me, like, uh, I picked the sketchbook out, and I finished it uh, last month, April 26, 2018. And this is like, I told him to write something on the first page. <laughs> That's me. I like to, uh, anyway, I like to make, um, like little boards, painting, like little moments. Um, this is like for a project that I wanted to make that I still may make. And here's my current D&D character. He's an Aarakrocra. His name is Ike. He, he, I really like how this came out because I didn't put, I didn't lay the watercolors on too thick or anything. It's just kind of a nice sketch. And there's more pictures of him here. I rarely draw him, but I would like to draw him a little more often. And here's like a scene that I didn't finish, but I liked. Sorry about the dogs. There's like a million dogs. My neighbors have a million dogs for no reason. <sighs> Pomeranians. Anyway, so here's a full page painting. Um, I didn't expect the paper to hold so well, but it did and it blended well. And that's uh, down with us and dying. They're making like a healing potion or something. Playing with color, playing with color. I wasn't so confident in like the way that the paper mixed because it the, it dried the paint so fast. Like I wasn't really all that like I wasn't confident in the way that it was like being like it was mixing and blending, but it ended up pretty good. Some sketches, ink washes do really well on this too. A lot of uh, wet media goes really well on this. Sorry, I have to like it's a it's a landscape sketchbook, so I have to keep doing this. <laughs> but yeah, this is from my Q&A um, video that you guys saw earlier. My sketches, let me see if I can actually bring this back a little bit. Yeah, that works a little bit better. So a lot of this will be like long ways instead of like this ways, like this picture that I never finished. It's supposed to represent like the three of swords, but I didn't. I do like how the greens mix though. Werewolf Knight. Light sketch that I finish. This page is still like in the work. Like I was planning out a few things for for things. <laughs> so yeah, that's just like different print ideas in Pokemon too. And then I decided to expound upon them and I drew them again. And even more Pokemon. I don't like to, I don't, I don't really want to elaborate on what I'm doing here, I just want you guys to see it. So, more stuff, I don't know what that address is. And more watercolor. Pa I had like a blast painting in this. It was just, this is probably my most colorful sketchbook yet. Uh, obviously some Shape of Water inspired stuff going on here, except he's like a dragon guy and she's like a water lady. Uh, this is me testing out like the purple pen set and like the brush pens that I got. I love the brush pens so, so much. I was testing out like the waterproofness of everything and 
like how things write. A lot of these purple pens I still have, but I don't use all of them all the time. But I do love me some purple, so I had to get the set. Yeah, it's from Jet Pens. This is like a gold shiny. And then this is one of my favorites. This is the first like thing that I made the brush pen. Uh, it's uh, Althea, my demon character. She's like a blue oni. But I had a lot of fun making her. And then there's more of these things. I actually have finished these. The sigil set I'm working on. And sorry about the music, guys. Oh my god. Anyway, this is what I'm working with. Uh, this is a dragon girl. I just kind of made her up. I just want an excuse to keep using the brush pen. It's like the, the Pentel pocket brush pen that you have to refill. It's really good. And then like, I really like how the colors came out too here. And a lot of this stuff guys, you can you can actually probably see on Instagram because I post a lot on my Instagram now. And here's more like ideas for framing and all that cool stuff. It was like mostly studies, but half also ideas. Star you star me. Favorite Pokemon right there. It's my, my, my favorite. This is like I, I put a lot of layers of like not just watercolor but also like a water-based marker. I put like a ton of layers and it's just like it's fine. It didn't leave through anything. So I really recommend these sketchbooks. Again, Silver and Burn beta series. And you eggs. <laughs> and that, you see a lot of him in the sketchbook I noticed. Um, but I'm not sorry about that at all. I was working through his design, like working on redesigning him for purposes. It's you, Hakusho. My boys. And more random stuff. More stuff. Kurama. And then like that's the ending credits to I just love you Hakusho guys, my favorite anime. Not even gonna front. These are just my characters, don't mind them. And some composition stuff. Not really composition, just me doodling. And I really like, cause I drew this right before, like in the airport, and then I finished coloring it in Florida. I was painting it, and I really, really like how I colored the cacti and the plants in this. I mean, everything else is cool too. It's like an action shot where they're like driving over a sand dune or something. But damn, I really like how these cacti came out. I gotta really stop being scared of like shading things in watercolor. Um, but yeah, I'm learning, I'm learning. I'm, I really just like the cacti in this picture more than anything else, cause the car, whatever, man. I just like it. Some more stuff. Me actually doing math here. Sammy. I went to a bird conservatory and drew some birds. Then like a museum little sanctuary spot. That's nice. And I popped open my Pentel brush pen on the plane and then I, I remembered that I shouldn't have and it kind of leaked out and I had to close it right away again. <laughs> Yeah, we're almost at the end. This thing is only like, what, 26 pages long? Dio outfit. Really like how this came out, actually. He needs to put some more clothes on, though. Some of my characters, but as ladies. Collaboration between uh, Kel drew this and then I colored it in, in in Copic. I know I said I didn't like Copic, but it actually does really well on this paper. It didn't really bleed. It did, but it blended pretty well, surprisingly. And we've got some more planning stuff. More planning stuff. 
Nee. <laughs> nee. I don't know what, what I was doing. This is a uh, on my college campus. I went into onto my college campus and drew this one little house that I like. And then this is the final page. The two final pages. The thing I like about this sketchbook is that I don't know, this is kind of like a, a fairgrounds type deal. I did okay on it. But um, the thing like I was saying, the thing that I like a lot about um, this uh, sketchbook is that you there's a page on here that you can draw onto and it's just the back cover. So that's really cool. You get like an extra page. And not a lot of sketchbooks do that. Like where it's like, oh hey, you can just I mean you could, but it doesn't have like the same texture, you know what I mean? So um, I had I had a blast making this like a spread. It was really fun. But I've got another sketchbook going in the works. But that's my tour. Um, maybe I'll give you a preview. So that's the first page with all my information on it. Um, and here's the preview. There's not much in it yet, but you'll see. You'll see in time. And it's the same sketchbook, too. I got the same sketchbook. So, yeah, that's what's going on. If you guys like what you saw, uh, leave me a like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, take care, guys. Bye bye.